Dear students, welcome back to online classes. Today we will learn about vegetables and fruits. This is second chapter of class fifth. Here we will know about the benefit of vegetables and fruits. They provide a variety of nutrients. For example, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, antioxidant, etc. Fruits and vegetables help us to fight against diseases by providing essential nutrient and develop our immune system. Now, I will show you a short video about it. Let's start. After that, we will discuss chapter 2. Fruit and vegetables provide a variety of nutrients and promote the health of young children. Also promote gastrointestinal health and prevent constipation. They can also increase satiety and help with weight management. How can parents help young children develop the daily habit of eating fruit and vegetables? In daily life, you can increase young children's exposure to and interest in fruit and vegetables. When dining out, you can order a dish of boiled vegetables or salad vegetables and select a dish that comes with vegetables. When going out, you can provide fruit and vegetables as snacks and buy fruit and vegetables with young children. When you are at home, you can cook with your children. You can offer at least one serving of vegetables and include different types of fruit or vegetables in your dishes. You can also replace unhealthy snacks with fruit and vegetables. How much fruit and vegetables should young children eat every day? children develop healthy eating habit, provide them with a sufficient amount of fruit and vegetables every day and be a role model for young children. The name of chapter is vegetables and fruits. Question number first is uh, take the correct answer or answers. The question number first is daikon is a kind of redis. Which of these is it? Just you have to uh, tick on the redis, right? The answer of this one is, you can see this is B part, right? This is redis. Now the question number second, which of these vegetable is usually eaten uncooked, right? The only tick on this one, question number second, this is B part. You can say this is carrot. Now question number third. Which of these flowers can be eaten or used as flavoring? So this is first one. The first one is banana flower and D one is squash blossom to so a and d both are your answer right and you can say both can be eaten raw the next one which of these are cooked when green and eaten raw when ripe The answer of this one is A, right? A is jackfruit. The jackfruit is your answer and B is papaya. It means papaya is also your answer and D1 is fig. Uh, fig, fig is also your answer. So it means A, B and D. 
are your answer right now question number five pick the slice of kiwi this is very simple just you have to take on on this slice of kiwi this is kiwi question number six which of these nuts grow on tall plants just you have to take on those which grow on tallest plant right the so first is peanut and second is coconut and we all know that coconut grow on tall plant so your answer is b that is coconut the next one question number 7 which of these are citrus fruit citrus fruits are those which have vitamin c so your answer is a1 right this is orange and c1 this is sweet lemon the so a and c both are your answer question number 8 we cook with the oil we get from we get we get oil from coconut and peanut okay it means a and d both are your answer right now in the next video we will discuss chapter 3 thank you for watching video